What's up, Lake of the Ozarks? It's your guy, Will Holtz, with Lake TV. Time for another edition of the LOZ Feature Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, the owner and broker with Lake Ozark Real Estate. And yeah, you can see behind me, we have one of the biggest docks on the Lake of the Ozarks today. We're going to meet up with Mike Hudson, the owner of DocWorks. He's the guy that built this dock for Randy Sism. Probably know that name, the owner of MTI. We're going to check out this dock and find out how exactly do you build a dock like this on Lake of the Ozarks. JR here, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. How about a custom dock at the lake house of your dreams right here in the beautiful villages at Shawnee Bend? Or maybe even your own slip at the iconic Topsider condos in the heart of Osage Beach. Whatever your lake dream, I can make it a reality. But that can wait, because it's time for another edition of the LOZ Featured Dock Series on Lake TV. Standing on potentially the biggest dock on Lake of the Ozarks, I got Mike Hudson, who's the co-owner of DocWorks. And Mike, this is one of your guys' uh, prize builds, one of your guys' best jobs you've done so far. But before we talk about this dock, let's talk a little bit about you, DocWorks, and the history behind the company. Okay, we bought DocWorks back in 2017. My uh, brother, you know, with his fabrication company, was wanting to fabricate, you know, docks, and we've got a lot of experience in it. So we bought DocWorks, and the first thing we did, because of our commitment to giving back, we jumped right in and we started sponsoring all the big events. So DocWorks was really predicated on giving back. It's a 20, 22 year old company that we bought in, in 2017, and our goal was to really have a, a presence on the lake, not just build docks, but be involved in the community as well. That's awesome. So, you guys yep. have done that. Now I'm gonna find mm -hmm. out about this yes. and call it your flagship project. Yep. I don't really know where to start because this is the kind of dock that you can get lost on. Right. So I'd like to, if you're cool with it, let's start on land and kind of check out the process of how you guys built this, installed this, and how we got to this point. Okay, you got it. All right, Mike, so this you told me is Randy Sism with MTI's dock. And so now when you guys got the call or you guys agreed to build this dock with him, kind of talk us through that process. Yeah, well, you know, he uh, come highly recommended to us. Once we looked at it and we fully understood what his concept was and what he was wanting, we told him, we said, it's gonna be a, a challenge, but we can, we can do it. Once you guys had the blueprint and you and Randy were on the same page, right. how long of a process was it? Uh, you know, the overall process was a good two months. The actual build, just to assemble it, was right around a month. Just to give you perspective, that cupola on top is 10 foot by 10 foot structure. Yeah, that boat that's custom made, Randy wanted it, he sent us a drawing and we machined it. It is six foot long. Isn't that something? Well, you can't tell yeah. standing here. Yeah. So how big does that make the overall dock square footage wise? Oh, 10,000 square foot. Bigger, three times, four times bigger than my house. Yeah. I think people are asking, what's a dock like this cost? You're looking anywhere from 750 to 800. And yeah. there's lots of custom features down on the dock. Yep. So yep. let's go down and look at some of the okay. things that are crucial to not only building this dock, but one thing I noticed being on it is, man, when these waves hit, yes. it is so stable. So I want to go down and I want you to walk yep. me through and our okay. viewers through how you guys made that happen. Okay. Building on Lake of the Ozarks is complex, it's different because what happens over the course of one year is not what's gonna happen over the course of 20 years and so you have to build with those things in mind. And so when it came to this project, what were some really core things you guys focused on and said to keep this dock stable, to keep this dock 
uh, preserved for many, many years. What did you guys have to do to get there? Well, as far as on the overall structural aspect, we built this and like we're gonna build them all. You know, with all the purlins and the upper structure that we do, you know, that's what ties these docks together so solid. What were some of the custom features that Randy asked you guys to do that you guys worked on together? Having the real wide walkways isn't anything custom, but- It's so not common though. But it's not common at all. Most people have like a four foot or maybe six foot at the most. Well, it's 10 foot. You know, again, these columns, they have no structural value whatsoever. They're just something that really adds to the facade. The trim, all the trim on here, he wanted five inch trim rather than your normal two inch trim. It's all custom. And the overall structure is completely custom, just like this huge arch here is you know part of the customization the front arches are all that's custom now one thing that i noticed we've looked at some big docks like this and a lot of times there's a winch system or an anchor system mm -hmm. underneath yep. the dock not with this one and however there's no movement when these waves are hitting how'd you pull that off like i said on the way that we bolt each structure together underneath and then they come to a, a four point bolt system underneath there and the amount of bolts that we use go in both directions. It's more expensive, but the outcome is as you see it. When you look at it from the outside, like you talked about, from the trim to the archways and the pillar system, you get in here and you see how much detail and how many steel pieces and how much fabrication and bolts there are, but you don't see it from the outside. Right, right. And that was incredibly intentional. All right, so there's four slips here, mm -hmm. and these are some huge slips. It's not yeah. common to have these big slips in a dock. Coming up on the LOZ Featured Dock Series, presented by Lake Ozark Real Estate. I personally haven't seen this before. And it's, it's bigger than some people's dock, just a platform it's in this one big. well. After this. As you dream of your lake life, I invite you to dream bigger. Top Cider Condos, the coolest place to live at the lake. So what do you think? Your dream of living in luxury at Lake of the Ozarks could be but one phone call away. I wouldn't wait. Top Cider. Your time at the lake is limited, and at Sir Dyke Yamaha, we understand that. That's why we offer boat and wave runner rentals at two convenient locations, fueled up shine and ready to ride. Whether you need a tri-tune for your group, a ski boat for the family, or a couple Yamaha wave runners to ride the waves, Sir Dyke Yamaha is ready and waiting for you. See the Lake of the Ozarks with a rental from Sir Dyke Yamaha. Book online now at sirdykeboatrental.com. It's lake season, and that means fun on the water at the Lake of the Ozarks. But that also means it's bug, spider, and cobweb season. And AquaPest Solutions can get you ready for the season. Specializing in boat dock and pest control services, we can cover your dock, your yard, your home, and business too. So let our team at AquaPest Solutions do the job for you. Our treatments are eco-friendly and approved to spray over the water. So let's get rid of what's bugging you. AquaPest Solutions. Give us a call or visit us online to find out more. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We got time for them. Boat Lifts. We build Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Exclusive lake luxury is hard to come by nowadays, but that's exactly what's available at the Villages at Shawnee Bend. Whatever your lake dream, the Villages can make it a reality. 
Stake the claim to your lake paradise in the lake's premier luxury home development, The Villages at Shawnee Bend. All right, Mike, now one thing I notice here with the four different boat slips is the lifts and additions. Like, look at this huge platform, and you don't see that right. on all of the docks. Something like this platform here, I mean, that's total custom. Dock Works did not do that, but it's still kind of a neat thing that they did here as far as customization. I personally haven't seen this before. And it's, it's bigger than some people's dock, just a platform yeah, in this one big, well. Yeah. Obviously, these are great lifts and great platforms. Yep. But when you pull in, you guys thought about some things that not everybody does, yep. so talk about that. Well, Randy wanted some additional protection because you know, you're talking you know, 100,000, maybe $150,000 paint jobs on boats. We researched and found these roller system. Basically, you can come in if you bump it, then it will roll with you and it won't scar your boat. We found them out of Arkansas and had them shipped up here and the rest is history on that. I want to talk about this custom kitchen, man, with this yes. fiber composite. Yep, I, I wish I could say that Dockworks actually built this, but this is outside of our realm. Now we could get it commissioned, but yeah, Randy, you know, we got with him and he was like, you know, he said, I've got a concept, I'm gonna go ahead and build it out of carbon fiber. And this is the result, and it's it's wow. stunning is what it is. And they spared no expense with this dock. We've got the living areas. Yes. So yeah. if I had to ask you, Mike, tell me your three favorite features or components of your guys' flagship project here. Well, basically just the overall aesthetic appearance of it from the water. His vision of the pillars, it's customization that nobody on this lake has. That, that's one, and then, <laughs> Although it's kind of funny, the backstory, uh, I was telling Randy one time, I said, now, Randy, you want a 10-foot cupola? He's like, yeah, and I said, Randy, you know, are you sure? And he's like, Mike, it's gonna look good. And I said, okay, you're the customer and we will get you one. So we actually custom built the whole structure of it and the end result, well, the guy's got vision. I'll just give you that. Now this whole project, Mike, is just, to me, mind-blowing from start to finish. And so when you and Randy first started, he was after something in particular. Let's talk about that. He basically wanted a dock that could A, handle the water, B, have the overall look that's got the wow factor. But one of his biggest things was entertainment. He wanted to be able to put 200 people on this dock. Well, a lot of people, when tasked with, hey, can you build me a dock that'll withstand the wakes? It'll be good to go and can hold 200 plus people. Yeah. They're gonna say, that's not possible. Oh, dock work yeah. said, hold my beer. Hold my beer, Let's that's right. Let's see what we yeah. can do. Another yeah. thing I love, yeah. Mike, is to you guys, customer service is so important. Yes. And when you guys got the opportunity to build this dock and it came to fruition, this that we started with, this MTI logo, is a pretty cool story, so talk about that. We basically appreciated Randy. We appreciated his brand and we wanted to give him something that was even a little above and beyond. I got with Taylor and I was like, Taylor, I've got an idea. I wanna do something really special for Randy as a surprise. She sent me the logos. I got with the C-Deck company and they basically produced this. And like I said, my brother with his fabrication, you know, did the pan and powder coated it. And this is the end result. So people are watching this episode, Mike, and they're like, okay, I didn't think it was possible to build a dock like that. I'm gonna build a dock like that. How can we get in touch with Mike Hudson okay. at Dockworks? You know, we're on Facebook. We have a website. Our phone number is 573-964-1919. If it's custom, bring it. And that's gonna do it for this edition of the LOZ Featured Dock Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, the owner and broker with Lake Ozark Real Estate. For Mike and Dockworks and everyone watching, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on our next episode.